This is Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, Nile FM. Now, Nile FM's Aware with Adam. Adam here with you for another episode of Nile FM's Aware. With me in the studio are Ale and Salma from Amhu, the Ain Shams model of World Health Organization. We're going to be talking about a whole variety of topics. Stay tuned. It's number one for hit music, 104.2, And with me tonight in the studio, as I mentioned, are Ale and Salma from the student-run organization Amhu. And um, you know what? Let's just get straight to it. Ale, Salma, welcome on the show. And let's try to like, dive straight into it. What exactly is Amhu? Because all I know so far is just that it's a student-run organization. What is Amhu exactly? Um, Amhu is a student-run activity uh, which was set up in 2011. Um, the activity is similar to Model United Nations, which is present in several universities. Um, we, what we do is we have several lines of activity, like we have our sessions where we do the academic content, and then we have uh, campaigns, which is community service basically. Um, we focus on uh, spreading awareness on uh, on different diseases and health education. Um, it's ever since we set up, uh, it's been really successful. We've done several uh, several different things. Um, so the activities span a year and it ends in a simulation of the World Health Assembly, which is a conference which uh, is, is actually done in the, the real WHO. And we everybody represents a different country and we come together to solve a crisis, uh, which is a hypothetical problem and we're, we're trying to solve it as if we're in the real WHO. And again, my question, why health? Why, why were you so keen and passionate about this particular topic and not any other? Well, uh, since we're medical students, um, this is a, an activity which is actually related to our studies. Uh, but one of the main focuses of, of the, the model is, that, is the outreach as- aspect where we do public health campaigns and we go out into the community and we teach the public basically about, about diseases which, which affect them. Um, their diseases, the diseases we focus on are non-communicable diseases, which sounds really complicated. Yeah, I was just about to say, I, I have no idea what non-communicable diseases are. Uh, well, actually, non-communicable diseases basically means that uh, they, they're not transmitted and you, you, you don't, they're not contagious, like you don't pick them up. So that means that you can, you can prevent them yourself by just, you know, you know, taking a few steps and and knowing the right the right information. Well, Ale, it's my understanding that you're a delegate within Amhu, correct? Yes, that's right. So, what exactly inspired you to join this particular model and not any other model? Are, are you yourself a medical student, or how was it for you? Why did you choose this particular model? Yes, I'm actually a medical student. Uh, this activity actually reaches out to the community. You have the and you have the opportunity to uh, communicate with people. You have the opportunity to practice medicine in in a very low way but you actually do practice medicine in a certain campaign the diabetes campaign I was actually able to and you reach out to this disease uh, communicate with people and uh, understand the, the different aspects of this disease how people suffer from it so in a sense you actually got to uh, practice what you learn theoretically in school in in real life through through the model through your outreach programs in Amho. It's very very cool stuff. Selma you were talking about the non-communicable diseases that you spread awareness about that can be easily prevented. So I guess my question is how do you do this? Are there any uh, platforms or programs or initiatives that you guys are working on on the ground or how do you do this? Um, well we we have um, sessions which go ahead throughout the year. Um, during the sessions we d- debate on a variety of topics you know ranging from quite controversial topics within medicine from organ transplantation to euthanasia um, and we do this through a variety of activities um, but as for the actual campaign part or the outreach side of it um, we, we organize these campaigns Till now, have been in the the university hospital, which is El Demardesh in Abaseya. Uh, we we have reached over 3,000 people till now. Uh, we've screened for diabetes and we've taught them about how to prevent diabetes, which is linked to to a variety of, of other diseases. So it's it's been really beneficial um, to 
like over 3,000 members of the public till now. And we hope to, to spread this uh, in the future and to, to sort of expand our, our program. I love it. I, uh, one question though, in regards to the awareness sessions that you guys provide um, and, and the discussions that you just mentioned that you guys have, are these discussions internally or are they kind of like in an open saloon format? Well, till now, I mean, the sessions, uh, we have like 60 people within within the um, the sort of the, the hall that we, we practice in. Uh, but we, we hope that next year that this is going to expand and it's going to be on a wider scale. There's there's so many options. We might actually expand to more members of the university or it, it can grow beyond that, beyond that. But the important thing is that we need to be more aware of these topics which really do affect us on a, on a personal level and within our community. I guess my question right now is why are you trying to spread such a culture of health awareness? Shouldn't doctors be concerned with health awareness? I mean, whenever I get sick, I just go to a doctor, right? Why, why should I be so informed about so many technical sides of medicine when when I have my doctor to take care of it? Well, the, the a main focus of the World Health Organization in general is what's called primary prevention, uh, which means that we, we sort of prevent the disease before it actually happens. Like we're working on uh, improving our lifestyle in general, like improving the way we eat, um, you know, that we exercise more, preventing things like obesity, which is a major problem in Egypt at the moment. Um, so so that's that's what we're trying to emulate. That's what we're trying to, to spread the idea of, that, that people take care to prevent the diseases before they actually happen. Things like diabetes and, and cardiovascular disease, you know, things affecting the heart. But are these diseases so easy to prevent? I mean, if they were so easy to prevent, why, why aren't more and more people doing what needs to be done? If, if it's that easy to be done? I mean, is, is it a technical thing that you need to be aware of and you need to be a doctor to understand or is the average Joe capable of understanding these things and, and actually doing them on their own? Uh, actually, preventing these those diseases is pretty easy. I mean, it's basically uh, lifestyle modifications. It's basically changing the diet. It's basic, basically uh, uh, exercising. It's nothing uh, special or nothing that needs a doctor to understand it. Uh, but when you address those topics to the general public, this is something it's it's hard for them to practice in their real life. It's something that you need to inform that it's important because it's not something of their main life or something of their daily scope of activities. Uh, yes, it was a pleasure having Selma and Ale from Amhu, the Ain Shams model of World Health Organization, in the studio with me today. Thank you guys so much for coming in and taking the time to talk with us. I guess at the very end, as we as we just said, like uh, if if I want to get in touch with you guys or if I want to know more information about a particular disease, maybe. Um, I'm displaying or somebody in my family Allah, is displaying um, diabetes or, or, or I want to know more about cardiovascular diseases and how I can prevent them or what kind of exercise I should do just general information to help me be uh, leading a healthier life and prevent all of these diseases how do I get in touch with you guys? Um, well, till now we don't actually have a website yet, but we have a Facebook page which you can which you can check out. Um, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash amhu, A-M-W-H-O. Um, uh, other than that, we have an email which you can find on the page. Um, but in terms of, of wh what we want to do in the future, um, obviously we, we have plans to uh, expand um, and we'd, we'd like to, to increase our, our campaigns, the number of campaigns we do and the, the scope of, of the diseases that we cover. Any particular focus that you'd like to expand in? Um, well, we've, we've talked about non-communicable diseases, so after that there's the, the diseases that are actually transmitted and vaccination. So there's, there's so many things that, that the Egyptian public would be benefited by, like to know. I, I couldn't agree more because there's such a lack of health education in this country, unfortunately. And uh, again, thank you so much for all the effort that you guys are putting in. And as I always say at the very end of any show, if you are one of these individuals working with, a, um, whether it's a student-run organization or an NGO or a project or a social development initiative, as long as you're giving back to the community and trying to posit positively impact society, please do get in touch. Send me a quick email. Tell me what your organization is all about. Aware at NileRadioProductions.net. One more time, that's aware at NileRadioProductions.net. And uh, just let me know a little bit about your organization, and I would love to have you come in here on the show for a quick interview where we can shed the light about the challenges that your organization is trying to, uh, to, to address. That's it for us, though. Lady and gentlemen, thank you very much for having joined me today. That's it from us. We'll catch you next Saturday, right here, same time, 4 p.m. on Saturday, where it's all about giving back to the community. Have a great evening.